Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing great. Today I'll be making these cute high-waisted paper bag shorts. You can dress them up or down if you like. I also made a matching kimono and I'll be uploading a video on how I made it next. So stay tuned for that. Now, let's begin our project. These are all the supplies that you need for this project, your favorite shorts, some scissors, pins, fabric markers, elastic bands, tape measure, pattern paper, ruler, pencil or markers, and of course your fabric. So I've started by placing the front side of my shorts on the pattern paper. I'm going to fold the top of the shorts then I'm going to trace all around. I added 6 inches to the top of my shorts. This is going to be folded in half and it's going to be my waistband. Next, I'll be adding half an inch sewing allowance. I've made mine to be 1 inch because I want my shorts to be a bit loose. And for the hemming allowance, I'm going to add 2 inches. 1 inch is because I want mine to be longer and the other one is for hemming allowance. So I've already finished tracing the front of my shorts and I've even added sewing allowance. I will then trace my back and then do the same step I did for my front. I'm now placing my front and the back pattern on my fabric. My fabric is already folded in half so when you cut the two patterns you're going to end up with two front piece and two back piece. fourth step is making pockets and we will do that by taking a piece of paper, placing our hand like so and tracing around, then draw a straight line that is about 4 or 4 and a half inches. Try sliding your hand to see if your hand can fit through. Our last step is adding half an inch seam allowance all around. After tracing and adding sewing allowance, I'm going to mark this as my pocket and you will cut 4 pieces out of it. So now we've got two pieces front piece, two pieces of back piece, and four pieces of pockets. Next step, I place the front piece and the back piece together, right sides facing each other. Then I pinned the sides and sewed. After sewing, I ironed open my seam. This is how it looks on the right side and this is how it looks on the wrong side. I'm then going to open this up and then I'm going to place the other piece on top of it, right sides facing each other and then I'm going to pin and sew. So after we're done sewing, we are going to iron open our seams. Now this is how it looks after ironing open and you can see our shorts are already taking shape. Next thing we are going to do is to add our pockets to the sides. I'm going to mark down 7 inches from my waistline and then that's where I'm going to be placing my pockets and I'm going to repeat on all four sides. From the mark that we drew, I'm going to be placing my pockets right sides facing each other and I'm going to repeat it on all sides. After I've pinned my pockets in place, I'm now going to sew with a half an inch sewing allowance. So this is how our pockets look after I've sewed. Our next step is going to be placing our fabrics together, match up all the sides and sew with a half an inch sewing allowance. I've so 
sewn the sides and the pockets together our next step is going to measure half an inch from our waistline and iron the ironing the half an inch I'm now going to mark down three inches from the half an inch mark we made then I will fold over from the inch from the three inches and this will be our waistband From our waistband, I will mark one and a half inches down. This is going to be our first line which I will sew. Next, I will measure my elastic band. Mine is one inch. Then from the half an inch mark we made, I will measure down one inch and that will be our second line and it's where we are going to be placing our elastic. I finished sewing the first line which was our one and a half inch that we marked. Now I'll be sewing the second line and I will leave about a two inch opening for us to insert our elastic bands. This is the opening that we left for our elastic. I'll be using a safety pin to pull it through. To determine our elastic measurement, you need to measure around your waist, then deduct two inches from that measurement. Like for me, my waist measurement is 28. We'll deduct two inches from that, which gives me 26, and that will be my elastic measurements. Our next step is going to be hemming our shorts, and we're going to fold over one inch, and then we're going to iron and sew. Here I'm cutting a strip of fabric that is 46 inches long and 5 inches wide. This will be my belt. Then I will fold over right sides facing each other and I will sew. Cut 5 strips of fabric that are 1.5 inches wide and 3.5 and inches long. I'll be folding them over twice and I will sew. These are going to be our belt loops. Our final step is attaching our belt loops to our shorts and I'll attach one belt loop at the back seams, two at the side seams and two at the front. These are the final results of our paper bag shorts and they turned out great. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, I wish you a great day wherever you are and God bless.